What's up dudes, Chooch, back with another video. And today, I'm out here ripping on my M Super X Pro 100 volt, and this is the high torque model. And the other model you've been seeing me ride a lot recently is the M Super X, uh, that is the high speed model from about two years ago. And the difference is that one's 1300 watt hours, this one's 1800 watt hours. So this one's a little bit heavier. Um, this one has just higher torque on it and a lower top speed on it. But this thing is really, really good for off-roading and it, it still is a lot of fun. And I just got Clark Pat's Gen 2 that I'm gonna be throwing on this thing soon. And y'all see right here, boom, snipe, dude, by the lock. That thing dropped me, dude. Honestly, that's funny. I laughed multiple times during editing. I mean, I literally had to sit back and laugh for like 30 minutes straight at that. So the wheel I've pretty much been riding whenever I get a chance. I've been super, super swamped with classes right now, guys. I mean, this is Zoom stuff you got any kids that are in Zoom or anything, show them some sympathy, dude, because this stuff is awful. I'm doing college in it right now, and oh my God, man. You would think you'd have so much more time to get out and do stuff and be able to, you know, plan unicycle trips and whatnot, but you're literally tied to, like, a terrible schedule where you got to log in and always have a computer nearby, and your mind thinks, hey, I don't have anything to do. You know, I can go do something, but then you got to have a computer near you. It's terrible. Anyways, dudes, whenever I, I got the brand new Clark pads in, and they are sweet, so they're a little bit thinner on the sides, just like I wanted, because I like to bend my knees a lot, and then I can, I can just flare my shins and my knees out just a little bit and get right over these guys. So I'm going to work in the shop tonight, get those pads on this wheel, and then I'm going to take it for a spin, guys. I got a few few things I want to do to it. So I, I, I really want to, um, you see the, the pad on the front of this wheel? I've been just heavy off-roading this thing, and I got a really good light set up. And so I just really padded the whole front of this thing up, man, because you see in that log crash, I really do. I, I, I've been crashing uh, a good bit just off-roading, and it whole thing is just getting used to a heavier wheel guys this thing is this wheel is so much heavier than that uh 1300 watt hour uh, m super x i'm telling the folks at gotway i'm i'm putting this out right now uh some of us we want the lighter weight wheels um making every single wheel in an 1800 watt hour format i don't think is the right idea um, i think making a cheaper wheel and make make a cheaper rs make a cheaper uh, m super pro make a cheaper whatever it may be a cheaper x but make it um, a lower watt hour, you know? Um, Grant, I love having the long range capabilities. 1800 watt hours is, I mean, you know, for most stuff out there and, and most people, that's what you're gonna want. But specifically for like stuff like this, where I'm gonna be going to ride for maybe an hour and a half at some trails I know that are local, where I don't really need uh, 1800 watt hours to do it and that's basically just extra weight for me to have to throw around uh, that's just the disadvantage of it and I think having a cheaper wheel um, that's the same form factor of all the got other got ways and the way they did it with the other wheel is they literally just they had the smaller battery in there and it was more towards the back of it so the weight is weight it would weigh a lot different you know just because the battery is smaller and it's towards the back and so what they did is they just put spacers in there um, like foam spacers in there and it's absolutely fine it works out great um, but the thing is now I'm just seeing all these high watt hour wheels and and they're just heavier you know so if you want to be able to do tricks and stuff like that um, it's kind of at a disadvantage you know um, so one thing that I think we're gonna have to learn with if if uh, you want to do tricks and stuff like that is being able to do tricks on a heavy wheel, you know? Once I get the Clark pads on there and, and whatnot, I think then I'll be able to throw this thing around and be able to really, um, you know, uh, trick it and whatnot. But with, I have the EUC guy power pads on there right now, and I really do, I like these. You see those, um, these are the Gen 2 EUC guy power pads. And they are like, for my riding style, you can just see they're working with me pretty dang good right here. You know, I can flare out over them. I'm able to use my legs like shock absorbers. But the one thing they do lack is that toe profile. You know, have something to get those toes under. Um, so for that log crossing, for example, basically what happened with that is I'm so used to a lighter wheel and it having that toe um, where you can put your toe under those Clark pads where you put your toe under there, that I hit it in a different dynamic, you know? Uh, the way I hit it, I was expecting the wheel to kind of come with me, you know. Whenever 
you're hitting a, a log like that, the trajectory can be way different. You know, it just depends really on how tall the log is. And with that one, what happened is I was expecting in my head more of a forward trajectory and it went straight up instead. And my body went forward, you know? And so that all comes from me thinking my toes are locked in when they really weren't. And so one thing that, that, that I think would be really cool for the guys that, that don't want Clark pads out there, and I'm gonna throw throw an idea out there you know somebody somebody can, can take it and run with it i don't 3d print and all that stuff but um a just a puck like some sort of a puck like a uh, where you can just um uh, I'm, I'm basically like the bottom half of those clark pads you know that round circular part that your toe goes under uh, i'm thinking something like a hockey puck like a velcroable hockey puck on there you know so don't overthink it something really simple where you can have pads like this and then you can take that puck and position that puck to where you want it um, and you can and you can put that puck right over your toes and you can lock in with it and so basically it would be um, instead of getting a, a set of two pads you'd be getting four pieces you know you'd be getting your top pads like these EUC guy power pads and I relayed this to EUC guy I think he should run with this um, EUC guy power pads is on the top right here you can position those where you want and then you can throw that puck down wherever you want to kind of like those Clark pads you know so I, I think Clark pads are awesome I, and everything but I still think that there's I mean there's all kinds of different stuff you can do with it and I've even tried it like just taking an actual hockey puck like an NHL hockey puck I put velcro on the back of it stuck it right to the side and it works really good it's just it's just too heavy for what it is it just adds a little bit of too much extra weight I mean you could 3d print it and make something a little bit better um, but definitely this wheel guys um, I think once I get locked in with it and then used to it like I did with that other wheel because I, I quickly got used to it y'all see all I did was ride that M Super X 1300 watt hour um, so much in all these trail ride videos and stuff and it's just literally guys because I got used to that wheel like every single time when I want to grab and go with something, I just grab that one every single time, you know. Um, it just, it's fast, lightweight, has plenty of torque for what I need. Um, it's an old beater wheel, so it just gets used, you know. It's just, it, I, I, I really just, it, it's like anything. I got a snowboard I've been riding for seven years, and I, I every time I take it to the tune-up shop, they're like, dude, you have got to get a new snowboard. Why do you bring this thing in to get tuned? It just, like, there's no point. I mean, it's destroyed, basically, and it's just because I've adapted so much to that board. I've put in so much time on that board that, you know, if the, even that same board brand new would not feel right to me, you know? It, like, if I bought that same board brand new, I love just once you get something broken in, once you get used to something, it is just so hard for me to switch, and I've always been that way. I'm a routine type of dude, man. I gotta have my routine and my 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 same type of ride set up. You know, that's just the way it is. I'll buy the same pair of pants 40 times in a row, the same pair of shoes 30 times in a row. If it works, it works. You know. And one thing I'm gonna say right now, Gotway, this is just take this, take this and run with it. Take it for what it is and run with it. People are looking for a wheel similar to the old M Super X 84 volt. Okay, with the technology you have nowadays, there is the ability to make a good high performance Gotway wheel that is under $1,500 for people. Okay, I'm not. It, it doesn't have to be 1,800 watt hours. It does not have to be the fastest wheel. It doesn't have to have two headlights. It doesn't have to have speakers. But what pe and oh, and it doesn't have to have any LED flashing lights. People want a good basic wheel that's high performance, with doesn't have to have suspension on it, that is like that old M Super X 84 volt, you know, but make it 100 volt, make it 100 volt with the new upgraded cells, make it about 13 to 1400 watt hours, 18, 19 inch wheel. Um, you know, you can use the same shell design, whatever it may be. Um, if you could upgrade it, that'd be cool. Make it a little bit more durable. You could even make it cheaper, more durable, whatever it may be. Um, but I think a good entry gotway wheel that could get close to 40 miles an hour under people's feet for $1,500 is what we need. And we need to see that. We, and they would sell like hotcakes. And I would buy one. And then the thing is, I would buy one. I might buy three of them and just ride, ride the piss out of them, you know? So that's, that's the fine line. I think once we get over the $1,500 $100 mark, um, a lot of people in the United States right now, 
Um, that's just a big step over it. I think if we can get a good basic Gotway wheel down to $1,500, then there will be so many more people into the hobby. You know, because once you take that step from like, from a uh, like even a 16x, you take that step from that uh, King Song 16s, that 16x, that 14d, whatever it is, you take that next step and you get a Gotway under your feet. You get that speed, that power, man. And it's just a game changer, and people are addicted to it. They're hooked once they get it, you know. So I think making that more accessible to people, and and making a, a like a model kind of like the iPhone, you know, like the, they they did the iPhone SE. We need like a Gotway SE is what we need. You know, still keep all the good features, still keep that good that good processing chip in there, keep that power, keep that, you know, that Gotway passion in it, but make it affordable, you know. And no bells and whistles, no lights, no BS on it. Literally just make it bare bones, all performance. And I'm all about that. Make and you know, I, I think I think they'll sell like hotcakes. Sorry to go off on my little tangent about gotways there, but anyways, dudes, I'm going to leak this riding spot to all you guys out there. This is one of my favorite spots, and this is where I pretty much fell in love with riding electric unicycles, and it's these little trails back here. They're right behind Cherry Creek State Park. So if you go, it's, it's the Cherry Creek Reservoir in Denver, Colorado. And the reason I'm leaking this gym to you guys is I don't live over here anymore. I even made some of these trails that are over here behind this place. Some of these little jumps, um, some of the, the, the little wooden uh, thing that goes over the tr that little tree crossing um, earlier in the video. But anyways, guys, this is a great spot to practice your skills off-road. It is like a little neighborhood area, and some people walk their dogs back over here and stuff um, later in the afternoon. So just be cool. Nobody will really get mad at you or anything like that. Just There's plenty of open space out here to ride around. There's trails every which direction. So if you just go take the Cherry Creek bike path in Denver, right up behind the Cherry Creek Reservoir, uh, there is just, this is it's littered with trails on each side of the bike path just keep your eyes peeled and you'll see little offshoots everywhere where you can take different trails and this goes basically if you ride the cherry creek bike path from cherry creek state park all the way to um to glendale where the the mall is where cherry creek mall is you can there's basically trails all off to the sides of the path little off-road trails everywhere and some of them have some like homeless camps at the end of them now. You know how that goes, where you, you I mean, you don't want to roll up on. I mean, I, you even saw at the beginning of this video, some guy had like a bonfire set up out there, like a smoldering bonfire, you know? And I just, you, you don't even want to, you don't even want to question it, you know? You just, you just keep going, just keep going with it. You know, you might get yourself into something you don't want to get into. So uh, that's pretty much the only thing, but it's a great place to ride back here, guys. One wheels are really fun back here too. Um, it's, it, it, this is the perfect dirt for riding a one wheel too. Those, those tires really hook up and are great to groove around with. But anyways, dudes, it's been Chooch. If y'all enjoyed the video, throw a thumbs up. See y'all in the next one. You can get all the latest electric unicycles linked right below, guys. E-Wheels is where you want to go for all of the United States customer base and for all of you guys everywhere else in the world, E-Rides. Both are right below, both are affiliate links, and with the E-Rides, use code CHOOCH5 and you can get a discount on your purchase. And also, down below, I'm a proud member of the Lazy Rolling team and all the armor jackets that I'm wearing, you can get a 20% discount using code CHOOCH at LazyRolling.com. Thank you guys, I'll see you on the next one.